Hey guys, hope you're doing great. So you want to automate a trading bot by having a script regularly executed on a server, matching the strategy's timeframe. Well, that's super easy on Unix-based systems. So here I'm talking, for example, Ubuntu, because we can use the job scheduler called cron, and then we simply configure what is called a cron tab, so a file where we specify the scripts that we want to run and the frequency at which we want to do that. And then everything takes care of itself. So let me show you how to easily configure this today. So the starting step is indeed to be connected to the server instance where you want to do the configuration of the cron tab to run the trading bot. So here you do that via your terminal or your command prompt, this thing here. And so you can see in there that I am indeed connected to this Ubuntu server instance, which I'm using for this example. So what do, we ha do I have in there? I'll do ls to display the content, so ls enter. And we see that there is just one folder. If it's highlighted in blue here, it means it's a folder. If it's in white, that just means it's a simple file. So we can see live training bots. So this is indeed what I'm using as an example. So that's the GitHub repository where I put all the codes of all the trading bots that I release on this channel. So that's an example. But just keep in mind that what is important with the cron tab is to identify what needs to be set regularly and how to set up the frequency properly. So this is what we're going to see today. So I'm going to go into live trading bots because I want to find this file, show you where this file is that we want to run regularly. So if I do CD, then L, hopefully the auto completion will work. If I just do tab, it, it auto completes the, the word. So CD live trading bot. CD is to go into while CD dot dot that you see here means to go backwards. So in the path. So let's go back into live training bots. There you go. I use my, the arrows to go back in the commands. So arrows up, arrows down, whatever. So once we're in here, LS, several things that I see here, what I want to go into is code. So CD code. Great. What do I have here? I have strategies. I'm going to go into CD. So CD strategies. LS, what do I have here? This only envelope. So I'm going to do CD envelope. And as you can see, this is so far, this the, is the only strategy that is on in this GitHub repository. You can see here that if you want all the information on how to set up this bot and uh, the strategy, what it means, etc., everything is for free. And I, I hope hopefully all the content, the video is very pedagogical. I, I do plan on adding some more little by little. So you'll find more information here about the new trading bots, etc. Anyways, let's get back to here. The reason why I'm showing you this is because typically the trading bot script that does applies the strategy or the rules is this run.py that you see here. So technically speaking, what you want to, to have executed at every time frame of the strategy by the cron tab would be this run.py. However, I do things slightly differently, and that is to use a batch file. So instead of running the run.py, and setting that up in the in the cron tab, I'm setting in the cron tab that a batch file needs to be run regularly, and it is in the batch file that I say run the run.py. The reason why I do this, let me show you exactly now. This batch file is what I call here the run envelope.sh. So I'm using nano, that's an editor. So if I do nano run envelope, it will display it in the terminal and I can also change it. So the reason why I'm using this batch file is because, first of all, this project, I always recommend to install this with a virtual environment so that you really have your Python packages installed properly, separately for whatever other packages you have elsewhere on the server so you don't mix between versions, etc. So here, by this first line, is saying, well, we will be running Python 3 using this virtual environment. Then next line is indeed the standard command with Python to execute what do I want to execute? Well, this run.py that I showed you before. But the other reason why I'm using this batch file, besides configuring that I want to use this the virtual environment, the other reason is because you might be running this strategy on several coins. And if you do that, that means in principle, you would have configured a run.py, for example, for BTC, if, if that's what you're, you want the trading bot to run. But you may, you may have also on ETH, I don't know, you may have also on Solana, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. So, and technically I would want to remove this. Let's say that's our example. 
So that's why I do that, because now I will just configure in the cron tab that this batch file that we, or this file to see here to be executed at every time frame and every time it's executed, then one after the other, it will do first BTC, then ETH, then Solana. Okay, so let me do a control S just to save, let's say that was our example. And now we should actually, now that we know that it is the run SH that we want to have the cron tab execute regularly by itself, we can now go do that. So the cron tab, this is actually something that executes itself from the root at the root of the server instance. So you can see, indeed, now I'm back at the beginning here, at just at the root of the server instance. You can see I, you can see I just have live trading boss. Great. So now we're creating, opening, and configuring the cron tab. So for that, you do cron tab minus E. And if it's the first time that you do that, you will have to select the editor you want to configure it with. So you can see you have several choices, nano, basic, uh, you, I mean, Nano, Vim, whatever. I generally go for Nano. That's the simplest to use. So I just put one and then enter. And I have opened the cron tab, which I can now configure where I'm, I'm put the commands and the frequency. So that's what we're going to do now. So it is actually all explained here, but I think it makes sometimes more sense to have somebody voice it. So let me explain. And let's do several cases, practical cases of time frames of different time frames that you want to have your your bot uh, follow. So let me actually paste the command that we would want to write here. So otherwise, I'm just going to make mistakes if I type it by myself. So that would be an example of the command. So we were you remember that we I was showing you this run envelope.sh. So this what is written here is actually has to be understood understood in three parts. The first part here is where you set the frequency of what you want to run. So we'll look into, we'll explain, I'll explain this just after. And then what is it that you want to run at this frequency? What is it that you want to do? Well, this is the command here. And as you can see, I basically give the path of the script that I want to run regularly. And I have to say with what does it, should it be executed? It turns out that this batch file that I said run envelope.sh is a bash file, bash being a programming language. So to execute that file, I need to use bash. So that's why I have bash and the path to the file. Equivalently, if you if well, in whatever you're doing, you're not using this batch file here, this .sh, but a .py, well, you would typically go here and put and write Python 3, for example, then like, I mean, the path to the file. Okay, next part here, this is actually to put, to store the outputs of whatever is generated here. So here in run envelope.sh, there's some run.pies, and typically in the bots that I release, I always put some prints in the code to keep track of what is going on. So here I'm saying, well, store all the these prints that are generated, store them in this file. I'm asking him to create it and, and print those in there, write those in there, and that file is this envelope.log. So .log is a convention, meaning it's a log file, but I could have put .txt if I wanted to. So that's really where I'm storing all the prints that are, that are generated by the codes that are being run here. Then this last part here is just to say, don't only write store the prints of the code, but if there's any errors that are triggered, then write those errors as well in the log. Great. So now we can move to, well, we know what we're executing and how, etc. Now is how regular, what is the frequency that we're giving? And that's where here we have to configure these parts here. So here I've put some stars because stars means that you're setting up as every. So every what? Well, each stars correspond to one of these entries here. So minute, hour, etc. So let me just say it out loud. Here I'm saying execute this every minute of every hour of every day of the month of every month of every day of the week. By doing this, it means that this will, this command will be executed at every minute of every day all the time. Okay. But so that would correspond, for example, if you had a trading bot, that, a strategy that was a one minute time frame, that would be what you would configure. But maybe let's start maybe on higher time frames as examples. And let's say you wanted to configure your strategy was a daily time frame. 
So you would have to say in that case, let me, I have to use the, the arrows to come and change. So let me move that. Okay. So generally a daily time frame. So first we would, we have to say at what minute of the hour we want this to be executed. Generally is at the first minute or the zeroth minute of, of the hour. So we put a zero here. Then we also have to say at what hour of the day do we execute this? I think by convention, this is at midnight. So at the zeroth hour of the new day. So you would put a zero here and that's it. That means that you will execute this code at every zeroth minute of the hour, at every zeroth hour of the day. And then every, every day, every month, every week. Great. So that's that for a daily time frame. Now let's say it was a full hour time frame. So in that case, we have to write more than one of these commands because let me just paste here. So let's do it together. So we will, it will always be at the zeroth minute of the hour, but we will want at midnight, but we will also want at four o'clock in the morning, then eight o'clock, then, well, I'm not going to carry on, but you understand, then you'll have to put 12, 16, 20, and the 24. You don't need to do it because you have the, the zero here, which is this one. Great. So that would be a four hour time frame. Now let's say we, we did the, did we do an hour time frame? Not yet. Let's do our time frame. So I'm not just simply going to cut those out. So at every hour, well, very easy. You just put this like this because you're just doing at Eros zeroth minute of the hour and then every hour, every day of the week, day of the month, etc. So that's for an hourly time frame. Now, how would we do a lower time frame? Say for example, a 15 minute. Well, we, that would be one because we do want to run it at the zeroth minute of the hour. But let me just do a control K, control U, and that's what we have to configure. But indeed, we also have to run this at every 50th, 15th minute of the hour. So here I have to put a 15, but also I have to also run it at every 30th minute of the hour. So I have to run to put a 30 here. And finally, you've guessed it, I have to put 45. And I, again, I will put 60, 60 correspond to the zero here. So that would indeed be how you would set up for a 15 minute time frame. And you, I think you've understood if you would want to go for five minutes, you would have to put a five here, then a 10 here, then a 15, and then do that up to 55. So that's that. Now, let me just cut this, cut this, cut this, and this one as well. And I'll simply, so we'll stick to, say that was our example, zero uh, uh, hourly time frame. So now I'm happy with this. This is what I've configured. So I'll do a control S to save the modification that I've done. But very importantly, for it to take effect, you also have to exit. So that's then a control X. And as you see here, cron tab installing, installing new cron tab. So, so that's it. It's configured. The script, the command that you've put in there will be executed at the frequency that you've put in there. You can exit the, if you're done on the server instance, just exit and that's done. Before I leave you, I, there's one last information that one I want to give you. And that is if you want to execute several things at the same time frame. So actually, if you want to go back into your cron tab because you want to change, etc., it is again, you use cron tab minus E. So cron tab minus E enter and we get to the configuration that we have set. So this is a, our, our example, hourly time frame. So let's say we don't have one, but we have two training bots that are running on a hourly time, time frame. So let me just say that I have this, I've created a not, I have my fav bot that has a dot sh, et cetera, in there. It has the virtual, I mean, the link to the virtual environment, maybe some run.py of several coins, et cetera. So when I do that, you, what one has to keep in mind is that since these are exactly to be run on the same time frames, it's not that it's going to run the first command and once everything that needed to be done with this first command is finished, then it runs the other one. No, no, no. It executes both these things at the same time. So you have to keep in mind this because depending on the server power, you could get to a point if you had a lot of these commands to be run at the same time, you could overload the server. So just keep that in mind that provided it is at the same minute to the same hour, whatever, here at the same frequency, these two will be executed exactly at the same time. Note, however, 
that what's in the run.sh where I had run, um, I put the example, you know, run BTC, run ETH. This that means that it, each things will be executed one after the other. So anyways, keep that in mind. If you have, depending on the power of your server, make sure you know you handle well everything that's, if there are things that are executed at the same time. Okay, great. I think we are done. I hope this was clear and it will help you. If you have any questions, you can let me know down below or join our community Discord. And now if you were interested in some more trading bot stuff, you can check this out. Happy trading. I hope to see you soon and take care.